I think all of us agree at some point there will be another referendum because things are totally and utterly... Now, they're saying no. They're saying no. You heard, but, oh, we did, sure? we heard them say no. You yeah. heard them say no. Do, do you know what that, do you, do you know what that does? Do you know what that does? All the time they say no to Scotland, that they say they will deny Scottish democracy. Yeah. The only thing that's doing, and I, I say this as a word of caution to, the, to my honourable friends over there, all it does is drive support for Scottish independence. The more you say no to us, the more we will assert our right and the idea of Scottish independence will continue to grow, continue to grow, and will overrun and consume them. My little bit of advice to honourable gentlemen, right honourable gentlemen opposite, just get on with it. Just give that independence referendum and acknowledge that we are on a different trajectory to the hard Brexit UK yeah. that you want. Now, you can have your hard Brexit. Please have it. If that's what you want to do, you want to be the isolationist United Kingdom, that is your choice and your democratic right. Nobody's stopping you do that. I would be the first person to say, good luck, and let's you? hope you get on and make a success of it. Do not, do not hold my country back in that. Do not subsume my exactly. country exactly. into what you're trying to achieve. Exactly. We do not want it, and we've told you that on several, if not numerous, occasions. It's over. It is over. Scotland will be an independent country. The sooner this House recognises it, the better. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'll finish, because I know that I've kept this House attention for long enough. The battle for the hard Brexit is over. They've won. Yeah. The battle for Scottish independence has just begun. Yeah.